I see a lot of shitty recommendations in every article out there that has drones under $300. That's why in this video you'll see the actual best drones under $300 and no bullshit involved. Make sure to stay till the end because that's when I will reveal my top best recommendation for this price category. Hi there, I'm Paul from dronesgear.com and I make a video like this each year for each price category showing my top drones for that year. You can check my channels or in the description my other videos and articles on different price categories like under $200, under $500 and so on. Now let's get started. Starting with the drone number 3, the JGRC X12 also known as Ichin EX4. This is a drone released in 2020 that I have personally tested and reviewed on this channel. Drones have come a long way since 2 or 3 years ago, technology got cheaper and they became much smaller. If you read most other articles online with drones under $300, they recommend some overly expensive drones on Amazon that look good on the exterior, but they don't even have the gimbal stabilized cameras for this price. Some of the Holy Stones drones for example. I have no issue with drones that don't have image stabilization, but for this price you can do better. The JJRC X12 is a drone that comes with 3 axis gimbal stabilization. This means that the video camera is stabilized by 3 motors. And let me tell you that the difference between a gimbal stabilized camera and a non stabilized one is huge. It's also a really compact drone that's foldable. This means it's easy to take it in trips with you and store it comfortably. The build quality is really surprising. Some of the best plastic I found in a drone so far. Pretty much on par with DJI in terms of that. All of the drones on this list also have brushless motors, which means they last longer and are more powerful. But this is frequently found in this price category anyway. This quadcopter that resembles the DJI Mavic Air quite a lot also flies for a long time, the battery life being somewhere at 25 minutes in perfect conditions, but I have experienced about 20 minutes of total flight time, which is plenty. The main reason the JGRC X11 is not higher on this list is that even though the camera is stabilized and the build quality is great, the camera quality itself is not extraordinary. It's still a great drone for exploration, especially since I tested its range and got to 1 km, albeit with interferences after 800 meters, but it's still a great cheap drone for exploring. As you can see in the footage here, the sky is a bit overblown, which means the dynamic range isn't really that good, so it can't capture really bright spots and dark spots at well at the same time. I go more in depth about this drone on dronesgitter.com. You can check the article with pros, cons and my full review on it right here at the top. Or you can simply search for the name JGRCX12 on Google and find my article. Oh and by the way, this drone also comes in a really great carrying case that you can use afterwards for storing too. Now for the number 2 drone on this list, the Xiaomi Fimi A3. This is a drone that made it to number 1 for the last year and I simply have to recommend it as it's really that good. The Xiaomi Fimi A3 is a really well built drone, solid, with an extremely capable transmitter. It records in 1080p and has a 2 axis gimbal. The disadvantage of this drone is that it doesn't fall down, so it's a bit bigger than the others. But it still has a slim profile that can easily fit in a backpack. What I'm most excited about in this drone is the FPV option, as it has 5.8GHz transmission and you can connect a cheap pair of goggles to it. Besides that, the huge 1km range, the super stable video and long battery life make it one of the best choices in my opinion for this budget. In terms of flight modes, it comes with return to home which is very precise as well as a great hovering stability thanks to its GPS and GLONASS satellite connection. It also has easy access to the menu directly from the transmitter. Two reasons why I'd want to buy this instead of the next drone, that's on the number one spot, are the fact that the transmitter comes with an included screen that makes it much easier to get the drone ready for flight and is much more compact overall. And also the fact that it has almost no image lag because the transmission is 5.8 GHz analog. This makes it easier to couple it with a pair of FPV goggles to see the image feed. And on my number one spot is the Hubson Zeno. Although there are reasons you might want to choose the Xiaomi Fimi A3 for example, like the better transmitter, if you're looking for the best image quality and features, the Hubson Zeno is by far the best drone on the market. Don't even look further, it's quite well under $300 and you can get it both from Amazon or Banggood, usually Banggood.com is even cheaper. You can check the current prices down in the description, they are affiliate links, so you'll pay the same but you can think of it as buying me a coffee. The Xeno comes with a 3 axis gimbal and a really good one that's on par with high end DJI drones in my opinion. The camera is 4K and really good 4K at that. And as you can see in these videos, the footage is stunning for the price far from any other drone you might see recommended by most people in this price range. The GPS positioning is quite solid, 
especially since Hudson did a few updates in the software department and now the drone flies excellent. I agree, the controller isn't as high quality as the Xiaomi Fimi A3 and you have to connect your phone to it, but in any other way it's better than everything on the market. The flight modes it comes with are also really capable and well made, from waypoints, circle me function to course lock and it even returns back to home in, on low battery. If you want to see more details about it, I have made a complete review and linked it in the description. Now I leave you with some side-by-side -side footage of all of these three drones so you decide for yourself what's best. While watching, please hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and make sure to watch some more videos from Drones Gator because you might find interesting things. If you're still undecided what to buy, I do recommend you check the drone tool down in the description where you can sort drones by price, battery life, range and so on and you get everything recommended in the table next to it. If you like drones in general and don't know where to start, you can visit DronesGator's homepage and it will guide you to the respective categories where you can learn a lot more about drones in general or about specific models. If you want to see more videos like this, it would help a lot if you'd like this video for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. I post about 3 times per week. If you want, you can watch the related video right here, the next recommended video right here, and you can subscribe to Drones Gator easily if you click on my face right now. I usually post buyer guides for drones in general, individual reviews, photography and videography tips and so on. So thanks for watching and see you later alligator.